Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about a very special feature in Log4j, and that feature is additivity. Additivity defines in uh, how your logger will inherit the appenders from root logger. Now, appender in, in logger is an important uh, feature. It allows you to deliver the messages to respective destinations. So you get a logging message and if you have defined appenders, that logging message will get delivered to different destinations so that the, on, on those destinations, uh, effective analysis can be done on log information. Like you can define alarms, etc. to figure out any problem in a more proactive manner. So that's the uh, use case of appenders. And coming back to the additivity feature, so when you define additivity equal to false for a child logger, what it would do is that it will discard or it will not inherit the appenders from the parent logger. And instead, you can define a appender uh, for that particular logger, uh, which will be inherited by you know further child loggers, but even in those child loggers you can define additivity is equal to false. By default, additivity is equal to true. That means the child logger will inherit the appenders from uh, the parent logger. And I will demonstrate you with this uh, a short example. So what I have up here is, uh, it's a program that has uh, two classes. One is main class and the other one is car class. And I have uh, root configurations defined where I have two appenders, appender one and appender two. Appender one is a console appender. The appender two is file appender. So it will, uh, the first one will write the message on the console. The second one will write it on uh, a file, applog.txt. So that's my uh, root logger configuration. And I have logger defined at the respective classes. Uh, main, which uh, accepts uh, debug level uh, logging, and car, which accepts uh, info level uh, logging. Now, for both these loggers, since I have not defined the additivity attribute, uh, they inherit the appenders from root logger, which is appender one and appender two. So, whatever logging I have in main, for debug and uh, for info in car will get uh, delivered to these two destinations. Now let's take a look at the code that I have in the main class. Very simple. I'm just loading the configuration of uh, log4j from the XML that I just showed you. And then I'm getting the logger for this particular class main. And I write uh, log.debug message. Then I'm creating an object of car. Now within the constructor of car, I'm logging a message, a car object created on a timestamp, a local local date time. So that's that's really it. Now looking at the log4j configuration, what it would do, it would print both the messages on console, and it would also add those uh, messages to the log uh, uh, file app log.txt let me show you um, on the console window so i don't have the app log.txt created now i will run the program and then there will be a log file which will be created which will have both the messages So this is the result of Appender 1, which is the console Appender. It is printing both uh, this message and the message that is defined in the or logged instead in the car constructor. So uh, you, both the messages are logged or printed in the console uh, window because of Appender 1. Now if we look into so applog.txt uh, is created. Both the messages are logged into this file as well. 
Now let's exit from this and make a small change in our uh, log XML file. Let's say we do not want to inherit the additivity for um, car client log, uh, child logger. So let me save it. So this is false. So now let me define an appender here. What I'm going to say is that let's only add it to the file and not to the console window. Let me also delete the file. Okay, so file is deleted. Let's go back. So the expected outcome here is that we will see only one message in the console window because um, the child logger for car is not inheriting anymore from root and it has its own appender which is appending to the file. And uh, this debug message will be printed and it will also go into the file. The message from car will not get printed in, on console. It will only go into the file. Now let's uh, run the program. Great, so we see only one message from main class. And now let's look at our um, app log file. So both the log messages are printed in the log file. So that's the feature additivity and how you can use it. I hope you found my video useful and easy to understand. Uh, do let me know if you have any questions for me or any other suggestions.